guys welcome back to starting out solitary drew here and it is week 243 we are discussing possession possession okay so i'm not okay let's just address the elephant in the room first the obviously the first thing at least in my society that comes up when you talk about possession is going to be a sort of christianized idea of what this is so a demon taking over a body, you know, for Satan or Satan himself taking over a body to corrupt one of God's, you know, beautiful lambs. This is not how I look at this topic because I don't really do the good versus evil angel devil thing the way that Christians do. I'm not saying that there's no such thing as demons. I'm just saying that if there is, it's a misinterpretation, maybe. <laughs> I don't view... I don't know if the Abrahamic God and the Abrahamic Satan exist. I don't know. I've not met them. I've not had interactions with them. If they do, I feel like they may be misinterpreted. I don't know. It's not for me to say, honestly. But my views on possession are not colored by that belief system is what I'm getting at. Okay. Moving on. So... For me, possession would be taking over of another against their will. Hmm. I say that. It's a little bit more complicated than that in my mind. But anything, you know, my... I, I was at a uh, table tipping thing one time when I was working at a witchy metaphysical shop that I used to work at. And I believe I was going to be possessed by the spirit of my dead grandfather. Now, at the time, I didn't have any understanding of what was happening. But afterward, looking back at what happened, um, I was being taken over. That's a possession. And I didn't say, hey, you can do this thing. So that to me is possession. Another being, you know. And this is where it gets confusing for some people, I think, with channeling and possession. And to me, these are two different things, personally. I do believe that there has to be some part of you that is willing to allow another being, energy, entity to inhabit your space in order for possession to take hold. In some capacity, you have to be open to that. And it could be the smallest, deepest part. And usually I think that that's probably after some manipulation. But I do think that it's possible for someone to just quickly hop in you for a moment and do what they want to do. Again, if you're open to that, not necessarily consciously though, just not guarded or protected or aware. Let's put it that way. Not that the person, if someone becomes possessed, not that they've done anything wrong at all. They were just vulnerable to that somehow, I guess is what I'm getting at. I do believe it's something that is unpleasant and that you do not have control over. Whereas with channeling, and I know the topic wasn't possession versus channeling, but whereas with channeling personally, I feel like this is something that you're open to consciously that you have invited in and that you have allowed to use you as a vessel for information and knowledge and messages, not to come into you and to be able to completely control and manipulate your every movement and action. This to me would be the difference. I do personally, like we want to get into vibrational stuff. I do believe that there are higher vibrational things and lower vibrational things. And that's with human beings. I have met some very low vibrational people. They're not, it doesn't mean that they're bad people. It doesn't mean that they're not good enough. That's something, you know, it just means, you know, maybe they're, focused on things that are not of a higher purpose or intent. And it could just be that they're, they're lost or they're usually it's, they're very, very wounded and haven't done any work to heal. Um, but I believe this is true of other types of beings as well, or energies or entities or whatever you want to say. And I do believe that a higher, a very high vibrational energy entity being is not going to possess they will be the ones that channel. They have no desire, reason, or, you know, inclination to control another. They are trying to empower and uplift. Whereas maybe some lower vibrational things may very much want to gain control and power. Again, I do not view this as a good versus evil kind of thing. I think that's too black and white. Um, but I do believe in possession, obviously. I don't think it's a super common thing or 
when it is common, I think it's a very sort of brief thing. Someone steps in, does something and leaves because the person that this energy or entity, whatever has, has come into is strong enough to be like, oh no, go away. I don't want you get out. They are aware enough and strong enough to repel this other thing. Um, there are things uh, such as attachments and are they called intrusions? Um, where an attachment would be something obviously, you know, is stuck to you and following you around, maybe trying to get in. And the intrusion is more of being in a certain specific place within the body or energy field. And this is more of a sort of shamanic thing, but it, it can cause illness and dysfunction within a person. But a skilled, practiced shamanic practitioner could remove it and um, dispose of it properly. So the, it's a complicated topic and there are many facets. And I don't think, you know, if something like the exorcist, for example, is an extreme there is a whole other extreme that's very mild. And this kind of extreme to, to the, the mild spectrum would fall very closely in with attachments where something is stuck on you and it may, you know, make you behave in ways that you might not normally, but it's not full on control. So like, this is why I even bring it up. I think it's a complicated and layered topic. But I believe in possession. Um, I believe that energies can affect us, energies, entities, beings, um, attach to us, even infiltrate, get into us. Um, it just depends. There are so many factors that would come into play. And I think it kind of like earth, like we're in the perfect place, right? Everything in the universe came into alignment and it was perfect. It's like the only place that we can see anyway, at this point where this could have ever happened at the only time it could have ever happened, right? Same kind of thing. Like all the pieces have to line up just so before it's this perfect storm that would lead to something that I think most of us would recognize as possession. Okay, that's um, more than I thought I had to say on that topic. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, guys. And until next time, much love and gratitude.